Hey guys, welcome back to another one. This video, I wanted to talk about a track that's out here in Polk County, Florida, I believe, called Bone Valley ATV Park. I think, in my opinion, it is one of the best tracks for beginners or intermediate riders that are just trying to get the basics down. How to figure out a clutch, shift gears, go up a gear when you're out on the track, get familiar with trails. So that's what this video is gonna be about. Today we got two bikes. My bike over there, you guys know that one, CRF 250R. This one is CRF 150R. And it is my wife's bike. So she's still getting comfortable working with gears and stuff like that. And that's exactly why we're out here. A couple pros and cons real quick before I take you on a hot lap around the uh, MX track. It is a red clay track, which is cool. The downside is that the track tends to get very hard. And when it gets hard, it's kind of like moon dust stuff on top with concrete underneath so word of caution to those who have never been here before if you get on the gas and you do it in one of the really hard pack spots you're probably gonna slip slide a little bit and maybe you know wash out or high side or something like that so you have to be really careful with your throttle application pro tip just shift up a gear and be smooth on the gas and you'll be okay
this is my wife, Danielle. That's her bike. So why do you like Bone Valley? I like it because it's got big open fields to practice on and it is a good track for beginners where it's not too scary with big lot of jumps. Ooh, that's true. One thing that you might not even really think about when it comes to beginners is a place where there are no features at all. Just big open grass field. Like I was saying, that's great if you want to just very no pressure go through from first gear, shift into second, shift into third, etc. It's a great place to do it. And they have lots of trails behind me. They have like beginner, intermediate, and then I think some expert trails. Um, I'm not big of a trail guy, but I will take you on a quick little sight lap on the outer edges here and point out some of the trails that they have on the inside of the park. I thought that it was worth noting real quick that this is a state-owned park. So they actually have some very, very nice facilities. Little shadowed, little shaded areas here, here, here. Little map of the park over there. And then one of my favorite parts is this bathroom is prime. It is so good. So I'll actually, hopefully there's nobody inside, but let me take you in here real quick. lights come on on a dimmer which is nice and then I actually when it's hot during the summer I definitely use these showers 100% 100% and uh, I'm gonna cut this off because I gotta go to the bathroom ready okay so from this perspective you have a couple like open areas that have a fence around it I'll go show you those real quick and then we'll hop on the outer loop of the trail and we'll show you that as well. Some areas that it's designated a 
one way only. So you can see like right there, don't go that way, obviously. And just keep your wits about you so that if somebody is coming out of a trail, just pay attention so you don't hurt anybody. Let's go the return way and then we'll go around. Okay. Obviously, it goes without saying, it's hot in Florida, so 
If you're visiting, drink water. Drink water anyways. So hopefully you guys enjoyed that little bit of a kind of brief overview of the trails that they have back there. Lots of different stuff. Um, probably not some super high level technical trail stuff. So if you're a diehard trail guy, probably not gonna get total satisfaction out there. But again, if you're in that beginner to intermediate range, it's a good all around area for you to just kind of like practice getting used to the bike, shifting through the gears and get dialed in. So they usually take a lunch out here. Sometimes it's from 12 to one, sometimes it's from one to two or something in between. Um, so just be warned around lunchtime, they shut down the moto track. You can still hit the trails, but the track itself goes down for about an hour, sometimes a little longer. Don't really like it when it does that, but we're gonna put in maybe one, two more motos today and then call it a day. So next footage you'll see is me strapping up and going back out on the moto track. ready to head back home so hopefully you guys got a uh, good look here at uh, Bone Valley ATV Park great place for beginners including me because I'm a beginner <laughs> a fun fact before I go that table here I'll show a quick little GoPro clip of me going over this one this was the very first jump that I cleared so that first little table that's kind of fun that was the first jump that I ever did so definitely a great place for you guys to get your bearings, figure it out, 
and then kind of build from here. So if you're in the area, I linked all the information on the park down below so you can come check it out. You'll have a good time. See you guys in the next one. Proud of what you're making me, proud of who I'm about to be.